All right, everyone, precious brothers and sisters, May 17, 2013. I want to thank my wife, Christy, who brought this information to me so I can share with uh, each and every one of you. I guess her Facebook page was lit up that there was an earthquake in Canada, and I want to let you know that we are right about here. We live in Michigan, and I guess they've been asking, has anyone felt uh, any of the after effects of the earthquake that was originally a 5.0 downgraded to a of course the USGS uh, is going to downgrade them to a 4.9 uh, earthquake magnitude 4.9 Friday May 17, 2013 Southern Ontario Canada now let me take you to uh, a Fox News report and I'll explain a little more as we go on here. Now they've downgraded it to a 4.8 from a 5.0 down to a 4.9 now a 4.8 magnitude earthquake felt in Ontario. Southfield, Michigan. WJBK reports say there was a 4.8 magnitude earthquake in Ontario Friday morning. That's this morning. Earthquake Canada tells the Toronto Star the quake centered in uh, Brayside, Ontario in the Ottawa Valley at 9.43 a.m. Fox 2 viewers have called into the newsroom and sent messages through social media saying they could feel the tremors. Fox 2 is working to learn more and will update the story throughout the morning. Now I've been up uh, before daybreak and I haven't felt anything here but I think you're going to find this interesting. Let's go once again. This is Canada Southern Canada is uh, originally a 5.0 downgraded to a 4.9. Fox News is saying that people in Detroit, in the Detroit area, uh, are saying they felt uh, tremors from this quake. What I think you're going to find interesting is I want to take you to a, a website. Now, this came out today. Now I wonder, I mean, we got to take a close look at this. There will be earthquakes in diverse places. These are the birth pains spoken of in Matthew 24. But is the water about to break? Is a massive Cascadia earthquake on the horizon, May 17, 2013, Oregon? I won't uh, read the entire article. I'll put the link below. The Cascadia subduction zone runs along the Pacific Northwest coast of the United States to Vancouver Island in Canada. This major fault line is capable of producing megathrust earthquakes 9.0 or higher. Though due to a uh, dearth of observations or historical records, this trait was only discovered within the last several decades from geology records. The 1700 Cascadia event was better documented in Japan than in the Americas. Uh, records of the orphan tsunami so named because its parent earthquake was too far away to be felt gave earth scientists hints that the subduction zone was capable of such massive seismic activity. I'm going to put the link below but this is uh, what is on the horizon. Let me read this again. The Cascadia subduction zone runs along the Pacific Northwest coast of the United States to Vancouver Island in Canada and as I've shown you Let's, let's be informed. Let's do our research. Is there a mega quake on the horizon? 5.0 downgraded to a 4.9. Southern uh, Ontario, Canada. Felt in Detroit, in Michigan, right here where I am from. I don't know. Leave me comments, everyone.